Steelers own are desperate for fans after Sunday protests, look what he's begging everyone to do. Pittsburgh Steelers fans around the country were stunned when they learned that the entire team was planning on staying in the locker room during the national anthem. The reason behind the decision according to Steelers coach, Mike Tomlin, was to show unity as a team by staying out of the anthem controversy, but that didn't happen. Now, because of their decision Steelers, fans are walking away which has the team owner in a panic and is begging his fans not to abandon them. The national anthem protest has only grown ever since Colin Kaepernick took a knee last fall. Instead of the protest dying away like Kaepernick's career, it has taken on a life of its own as more NFL players have picked up where Kaepernick left off. Over the last several weeks, these disrespectful NFL players have been kneeling during the national anthem much to the fans' chagrin. Then, this past weekend, the protests reached their zenith when hundreds of players, coaches, and owners knelt essentially spitting in the face of our veterans. So, when the Pittsburgh Steelers stayed behind in the locker room it only angered Americans more. Then, what made it even worse is when offensive tackle and Army Ranger veteran, Alejandro Villanueva was seen in the tunnel with his hand over his heart. The image quickly went viral as Americans found his simple gesture to be the symbol of pure patriotism. However, shortly, after Villanueva's image went viral Tomlin bashed him which quickly prompted an apology from Villanueva. Well, that was the final straw for most Steelers fans who began to burn their merchandise in protest. One of those Steelers fans was Robert Williams who said he is done with the team once and for all. After more of these types of reactions from Steelers fans made their way on social media, Steelers owner, R. Rooney too must have become nervous. Soon after, Rooney penned a letter to the fans asking them not to give up on them so fast, but he didn't apologize. To Steelers Nation I want to reach out to you, the members of Steelers Nation, based on what I believe is a misperception about our players' intentions in not taking the field for the national anthem in Chicago. The intentions of Steelers players were to stay out of the business of making political statements by not taking the field. Unfortunately, that was interpreted as a boycott of the anthem, which was never our players' intention. Our players come from many different backgrounds and are united by what it means to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are active in their communities and participate regularly in events designed to give back to those communities. And they appreciate the support they get from Steelers fans around the country and here at home. I also know that our players have tremendous respect for the members of our military services, including their teammate Alejandro Villanueva. There was never any desire on the part of our players to show disrespect for our service members. Yesterday, I received an email from a Steelers fan who said tell the players to just play football. That is exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted their sole focus to be on playing the game, while also coming together as a unified team. The main thing we can do is learn from this and strive to come together remaining unified as a football team. I believe we are capable of accomplishing this with the support of our fans. Steelers Nation is made up of the best fans in the National Football League. We appreciate your continued support of our players, coaches and staff. Okay, the letter is rather nice, but nowhere in it does Rooney ever apologize for the team's actions, does it? Not at all, and that therein lies the issue. If these players actually did not want to be a part of the controversy, then why didn't they stand for the national anthem? The team's actions ticked off their entire fan base by them not taking the field and being leaders against this race-baiting protest that is dividing the country. Now, the NFL is sinking fast thanks to this protest that should never have made its way to the field in the first place.